Hello, I'm Kevin Smith for the Seaweed Group and in this short video I'm going to take you through our new Seaweed Pat Mobile app. So in the video today I'm going to talk to you about the Pat Mobile app from Seaweed. For those of you who haven't used the Pat Mobile app before, it's a manual data entry app, which basically means you can record the test results carried out on your Seaweed testers. You can use the features of the app to take pictures of the items you've tested, to scan barcodes, and to actually produce very professional looking PDF reports. With the optional extra Bluetooth Seaweed Test and Tag Pro printer, you can also use the app to print PAT testing labels. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this section is I'm going to use our PAT Mobile app on my tablet here to record the testing on this Class 1 kettle. So, before I started recording, I've carried out the visual, visual check. I'm happy with everything there. I've made the connections from the, the Prontest 100 PAT tester to the element inside the kettle. I've also turned the kettle and made sure the kettle's in the on position. I've got my Pro printer here, so we can do, use that for the labels. I've got my app, and obviously I've got my Prontest 100. So the first thing to do is, on my um, app, I will enter the asset ID number. So in this case, the asset ID number, I'm going to put down as 002. In the asset description box, I want to select kettle. So there's pre-programmed uh, options. So I just type, start typing kettle, and we pick the word kettle. I can set my customer to seaward, my site to engineering, and location, in this case, office. So test type. We've got the option for Class 1, Class 2, Lead, RCD, or Visual Only. In this case, it's Class 1, so I'll tick Class 1, press Select. So then it pops up to do my visual, so I can individually tick or cross the visual elements, but for speed I can do the Pass All, because I know everything passed. Then for the electrical elements, I can use the Lead Resistance Calculator. So in this case, I know that this is a 0.75 cross-sectional area lead and I know that the lead is approximately a metre long. So I'll put that in as a metre. That will automatically work out the limits of 0 0.13, um, so I can put in the earth bond reading. So now what I'll do, I'll just do the test, and the readings will come up on the prime test, and then I can enter those in as I go. So 0 0.06, 0 0.06, next. Insulation 19.99, 19.99, next, and the leakage of 0 0.10, 0 0.1, done. So I can then carry out a risk assessment. So if I just tick the risk assessment calculator, I can say what the environment is. So in this case, we picked an office, and the equipment type is handheld apply. This has worked out the, the retest dates for us. I could put a comment in if I need to. I'll tick that. And then it says, do I want to print a label? Yes, I do. And out comes my PAT label. Now, if I wanted a second label, maybe to put on the base as well, I can print another label. And then I've got two labels there, one for the kettle and one for the base. So I simply press no. And then I'm back to the testing screen ready for the next item. Okay, so you've seen how easy it is to carry out a simple test and record the information using the Seaward Pat mobile app. So what I'm going to do now is have a bit of a more detailed look at some of the uh, extra features we've included in the app. So the first thing I'm going to do now is we're actually going to retest this device that I tested before. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm actually going to take a picture of the, the item using the app and then this can be added to the reports later. I've well, taken the picture, I've accepted the picture, and the picture has now gone into the little icon window at the top, so you can see that, and that will appear on all the menus and all the reports in future. Second thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the barcode scanning feature to actually scan the barcode that we printed out earlier using the, the Pro Printer. So I select barcode, and then I need to just point it at the correct barcode on there, it's come up and said asset ID 002, accept, and then it says, do you want to link this 
to the previous one because obviously we've got previous records in the memory. So yes, we do. And what you'll notice there is it actually fills in all the details for you except for the test type. Now the reason it doesn't fill in class one as the test type is just in case you wanted to select, for example, a separate RCD test or maybe in this case, a visual inspection only. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record a full test. So I'm just gonna go into here, class one, select. So now we get the usual screen comes up. We carried out the visual, so I'll pass all the visual and then the normal test that we can carry out. So I'll start the, the PAP test to go in. I can go into the limit calculator as we said before. So we'll go for 0.75 cable and we'll go for a one meter lead. So it's set the limits as 0.13. Earth bonds come up as 0 0.07. So we'll record that. Insulation 19.99 mega ohms and the leakage of 0 0.1 milliamps. So again, we'll record that. We can fill in using the risk assessment, so we can actually fill in the, the dates. So I think we said office, and I think we said handheld. So I'll select both of those, apply. That set the dates up, the retest dates accordingly. We can save that as a pass. And then if we want to print another label, we simply press yes, and we get the label. And if we want to print more, another one for the base, we can press yes again, and we get another label there. So, Back to the start again, and we're back, ready to do another test. Now there's a few other features I want to talk you through about this. So that was how we do a retest. Now if we go onto the results menu, we can actually see all the previous tests carried out um, using the app. And then what I can do if I just simply tap on one of those, our previous results, here it is, we've got the picture of the kettle, we've got all the details of when the testing was carried out and all the information there, so we can look at that. If we want to actually um, print another label, we can from that screen. We can click retest straight away to do another retest on it, but we can also do an export. Now export, we've got various options. We can view a PDF report, we can create a CSV, a spreadsheet, or we can email those directly using the, the email system that's on the device. So I'm just gonna view a PDF report. We're gonna create a PDF report just for this single item and I'll view that on the tablet. So we've created the PDF report. The PDF report's there, it's got our logo on, the details, it's got the picture of the kettle, and all those things. And if I zoom in a little bit, you may just also see, that if I can get down to the bottom corner, you'll see that I've got my signature on there as well. So if I just go back to the app, and again, back onto the, the results menu, you can see all the results on there. Now what we can do is we can select multiple results simply by holding my finger down. And if I hold my finger down, it'll select multiple items. And if I select another one simply by holding my finger down, we can do that or there's a, there's a, a box on there to select all. Once I've selected multiple items, I can export those in one go if I want to, or I can press delete and it'll say, are you sure? And I can then delete those items permanently from the memory. So those tests have now gone. Um, and I can also use the filter to help me with reporting and things like that. So I can actually say, just show me the failed items, show me just the past items, show me oldest first, etc. So I can, I can select filters and that'll, that'll alter the reports. I can also clear the filter by pressing the buttons. So that's quite a powerful way of looking and reviewing your records. Other items that we've got on there is the dashboard. The dashboard feature actually gives you a view of the items due for testing and you can see all the items that are coming up that need testing in the future and again we've got the little icons and things like that used on there and if I simply tap on one of those it takes me into the test for those items. We've got a few metrics on here so we've got things like percentage of assets compliant so again which ones are in date and which ones are, are, um, are failed etc. Percentage of sites compliant, number of passes against number of fails and then we've got details of how many class one tests, class two leads, RCDs and visuals. So again, that's just a little bit of, of metrics data for you to review, to keep an eye on where you're at with your PAT testing. We've also got the ability to add customers under the customer tab. And what we can do is actually select the customer and we can edit the customer's information. And we've got loads of information in there for the customer. So things like the postcode, email address, name, 
uh, and then we can add sites in for those particular customers as well using this information. We can even put in um, images for the customer as well in the side of things, say like a company logo for example. Uh, the final tab on here is settings and in the settings we've got the ability to set up your information. So you can see I've got my information, my company logo and I can even do my signature. So I can create a new signature and simply save that and that will appear on the reports in there as well. So some great features in here and hopefully you'll agree it's a really useful app. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. To download your own copy of the Pat Mobile app please visit your app store and for more information you can go to our Seaward website.